Hello, Sunshine, and welcome to Today's Play Doki Doki Literature Club by Team Salvato. I'm Devaliente, and I'm playing with my friend Bon, whose channel you can follow in the link in the description below. The literature club is full of cute girls. Will you write the way into their hearts? Warning, this video contains strong language, mentions of depression, suicide, and graphic imagery. Discretion is advised. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's go. Yeah. We're back at it. It's the next day. Hi again, Bon. I just, she's way closer. Yeah, she is. She zoomed in while we were Yeah, paused. we can't see nearly as much of her leg. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> we, I guess we kind of did. I mean, ah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Bon. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan on to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. <laughs> we're getting we're getting some layering issues. Yeah. Uh, Natsuki certainly has a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in the club room. Oh, oops. Oh. Natsuki finds herself stuck between St. Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuka plops back into her seat. Natsuka? Oh, Natsuki. Sorry. Wrong, wrong series. Yeah, wrong series. I'm sorry, Bon. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all... Perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. Oh. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I, I want to try to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you sure? I just feel like, felt like, uh, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't really want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted to. This, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Accidentally. She even picked up out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Did I do accidentally again, like prior? No. Okay, I thought I did. I don't written. think you did. I know, I've done air quotes a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Oh. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Mona to kick, to kick off some schedule activities for the club. I'm glad the Dutch angle has ended. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. <laughs> Meanwhile, Natsuki is rubbing around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Interesting. We skipped some time here. Yeah. Ah. Uh, crap. 
I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Mm. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I just... I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at her eye. It's just... Starting to drift off there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call the lazy eye. <laughs> <laughs> the super lazy eye. Yep. Yeah. Um, I wanted to reread some of it. Is it? Getting further out. I think it is. Oh, oh yeah, it's back. <laughs> Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, I mean... I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, uh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well, um, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh. Do you remember what it was before? Uh, it was about, like, this girl in a post-apocalyptic world. This high school girl. Oh, yeah. Who uh, who starts living with her half sister, oh, who's yeah. younger, and then weird things start happening. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now we've got selective yeah, breeding, yeah, and dismemberment. Right. Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler, but anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean, not the thing about the limbs. Oh, she's trying to fix her pillow. That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah, uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Bon? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind of challenges you look at that life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. That's not all there. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. My whole body is I I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Interesting. Dang. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Hmm. So it didn't catch on there. No. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means that you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. <sighs> That's, mm, well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Y yes. I mean, you don't have to, but <laughs> what are you saying? Mm, let me just get the book. 
Oh, that was me. I quickly retrieved the book and I had put into my bag. All right, if, is it, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, uh, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, uh, just tell me if you end up distracting me, if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just breathing into the... <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. Yep. I have to go back. Did it catch the other thing later? I don't think so. Oh, no, I can't no. go back that far anyways. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk up until it's against Yuri's. Ah! Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, uh, I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. And here we go. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled closer to, even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? Uh, to turn the page. Ah, oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how we'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. Um, you're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri? This might be silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? No, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things, she says, and all that. Oh, and that's what you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that limb dismemberment. Yeah. <laughs> the grafting of uh, genes. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. The eugenics. Yeah. <laughs> Something else? N never mind. She's a murderer. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Uh -huh. Yuri, are you feeling all right? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. 
I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Bon, did something happen just now? Eh, uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. Uh, so you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, no nothing. <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes. It's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Nothing alarming except you're alarming. <laughs> anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. Um, I don't have a coin to flip. Yeah, let's just Natsuki. You're right. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair I shared mine with her first. Hmm. Hmm? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It was terrible. It just doesn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste? Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Ugh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Okay, is this any different? Monkeys can climb, eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, <coughs> but that's about it. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just, just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't? Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other th nice thing about the simple writing is that it puts more weight on uh, the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. Oh, we can just skip all of this. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Oh, wrong person. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is. If Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Mostly I don't want to skip because... Um because of the random interludes and stuff oh, like that. Right. Yeah. And I don't remember where they are. Uh, <coughs> I guess we just have to talk to Monica. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bon. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Bon. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it 
It's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. Great job, Bon. I was going oh in my head while reading it. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy, uh, it's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know uh, that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. That's different. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier? I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems <gasps> with each other. <coughs> eh? Already? Uh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more, uh, more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. What does that... That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at this, my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in the room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. So that was a continuation of her first poem. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Um, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. <coughs> that is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be very powerful. But that, what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems, poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about uh, deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a big, dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. And that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I guess we'd have to talk to you right now. <laughs> Uh, as Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh, what was that? Uh, did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Uh, um, he's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? 
That's, uh, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, uh, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? <laughs> wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blanky, blank, blanky, then looks at my poem again. Hmm. Well, I, I know that. I just meant, uh... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize as new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something that you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a, a little biased, though. Biased? How? Hmm. Well, never mind. She reads manga. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. So it's interesting that she was caught off guard with this being my art first poem. Right, yeah. And then she like immediately backtracked. Mm-hmm. But she also seemed kind of confused. Yeah. Yeah. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this isn't supposed to be a... Isn't this... After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath, beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Now we're going to wax poetic about ghost. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I, I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh. <laughs> That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. <coughs> Bless you. Mm. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to di digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost, Yuri? Uh, uh, who? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Bon. You dumbass. <laughs> really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance it, but remember that the poem often express poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. 
<laughs> it's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Y you think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, um, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Bon. Ah, uh, me too. <laughs> best for me. <laughs> Yay. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a, a literature club, after all. I say. I guess that's... Oh, it's Max. Um, HBO Max is sending me messages. Ah. <laughs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I want... I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about fe the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I, I was trying to say something nice. You mean you have to try to, that hard to come up with something nice to say? <sighs> Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <sighs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Bond did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Which is still yeah. fantastic for yeah. her. Eh. And Bond liked my poem too, you know. He even told me that he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, oh, oh. You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Bon appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh! Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Bond started showing up. <gasps> Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. Oh, good. You really act as a young, you look as, as you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking! You want to be edgy, bitch? Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If I want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Dang. 
Whoa, be careful, or you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Okay. Calm yourself. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with you with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Bond hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh. Suddenly, Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Bon, she's, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Uh. You, I want you to take the mouse for this. Okay. Um, we're gonna use this tape as a <laughs> coin. Yeah. step outside for a little bit. Uh, okay. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to do a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Suddenly, Nazuki runs out of the classroom. Hmm. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk and her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Bon, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. That's... Okay. Mm. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Oh. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Mm. Well, uh, I'm vice president, so please let me take the responsibility that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Bon. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate you. Okay. <laughs> Any theories about what's going on? Um, according to HBO Max, Zach Baggins is back. Wow. So, <laughs> I didn't know he left. Um, just going to turn off notifications for that. <laughs> uh, so, Monica is a computer program. Mm -hmm. uh, and 
she is trying to win Bon over, or win the dude over, um, because she's secretly in love with him, and so now she's trying to kill everybody. And um, I have a feeling that it's not going to be that hard. <laughs> All right, like before, six. Four. Four. Eight. Two. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't two, but Oops. it doesn't matter. Two. <laughs> Three. One. Sticky. Starscape. Cheeks. Shopping. Loud. Marshmallow. Parfait. Uh, disarray. Rissle. Uh, lollipop. Scars. Landscape. Depression. Thank you for joining us for today's play, Doki Doki Literature Club by Team Salvato. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you know when a new episode drops. Also, don't forget to check out the link to the completely free Discord server to chat about games and whatever else is on your mind. I promise we don't bite that hard. Let's keep the comments chill so no hater spoilers, as we are not above removing those comments and the people who make them. That's all for now, folks, and we'll see you next time.